Yo, what the fuck is up everyone? Uh, welcome back to the new video. Um, today we're gonna talk about how to put on muscle and strength at the same time. So uh, yeah, I mean, you, you have seen my progress. I've gained 50 pounds in a year, built a lot of strength and mass. And I mean, yeah, I put on some fat too, but it's fucking worth it, man. I'm telling you, like, the way I'm feeling right now, big, strong, it's so worth it. So the tips I'm going to give you today are really going to help you, you know, just like be bigger and be strong at the same time. So if you want to be aesthetic, like that type of shit, like skinny, this video is not for you, man. I'm telling you. You gotta go watch fucking Alex Eubanks or something like that, so this video is not for you. But uh, if you want to be big and strong, and you're probably skinny right now, and you don't want to be that way anymore, the damn, you found the right video. So yeah, use some background. Uh, I started lifting uh, about now one and a half year ago. And uh, yeah, we can say one year of serious lifting, like, and I put on 50 pounds of weight. I wouldn't say muscle, because I know it's fat too. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of weight I've gained. So <laughs> tell me what's up, you know? Uh, but yeah, so what I'm doing here right now, I just worked out, uh, so the way I'm building strength and stuff like that, and put it, putting on size, you know, mass. I used to start off with the heavy compound movement. So I started off with, with some incline bench and did about four four sets. Yeah, I did four sets. Uh, and each was uh, five, five to six reps. Uh, four, we can say four to six reps because the last one I did only four. So I pick a weight, I do the warm-up sets before, that doesn't count as my working sets, you know, so um, be sure to like warm up the chest and everything, and then the first set you do is the most weight, the hardest thing you will do for the whole workout, so be sure to go really heavy, as heavy as you can on the first set, you know, so um, uh, yeah. So I did, I could, uh, the first set, I did five reps. Then I did five reps again. And then I could only do four. And when I could only do four, I put the weight down, like uh, five pounds. And then I hit it again for five. So I just tried to do as heavy as I can for the same amount of reps. And then when I can't do the same, uh, the same reps anymore, I just um, go down in weight, you know. So you just really you squeeze out the chest, you know, really get the blood flowing and everything. So, yeah. I'm in the home home gym now, by the way. So here's some fucking weights here and everything. Yeah, yes. I can show you around if you want. Here we have fucking chest. And uh, yeah, you can do squats here too. Because it's, it's a rack and everything. So it's pretty good. I shouldn't complain. Not everyone has their own home gym, you know, so th that's it, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. I don't have that much weight, but I work with what I have, you know, you can't make ex excuses. You just gotta do, do what you have, do, do everything with what you have. So yeah, and the next thing, uh, bulk, like if you want to put on strength and mass, you need to bulk, and some people say you you get you can be in um, um maintain you can maintain to put on muscle. That 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 is not that is not true. Uh, you will trade the fat. You will lose some fat if you main gain for a while. You will probably lose some fat, but you will still have the same amount of muscle, and maybe gain a little bit of strength, but. Um, I mean, <laughs> if you really want to put on muscle, you should just bulk for like the first two years of lifting. Just do a proper bulk, go up to 200 pounds and just, yeah, 
when you're at 200 pounds and you feel like yeah there we go uh something happened so now back uh sorry for the cut i'm trying to do this uncut footage so everything i say is just real i don't try to cut anything you know i just want to be as real as possible with you guys so um, i don't follow any script or anything like that because yeah i'm real i don't want to be fake to you guys so yeah but anyways uh, so when you have like made everything you want like build muscle everything you're strong as hell you know and everything like that you can bench 225 if that's your goal 300 pounds 315 that's fucking amazing if you get you can do that i can't even bench that much so yeah if you can do everything like that all your goals then and you weigh above 200 pounds i would recommend if you are under 200 pounds i recommend you don't do a cut go above 200 pounds and then you cut then you can do like a mini cut you know you can also main gain if you want to do that if you feel like a cut is too much for you you can just main gain you know i mean that has worked for me i weighed about 190 pounds and then i did a main gain phrase for like i don't know fucking eight weeks no no it's fuck it was like three months actually so um, yeah i just when i did that i felt like i lost my belly a lot so muscle i didn't gain as much muscle but I just lost a lot of fat around my waist. So I don't know really. I don't know the science about it, but I've heard people do it and I did it. I did did work did work for me. And I think that is enough. If you're not a serious bodybuilder and you want to compete and you want to have shredded six pack. I mean you can do a cut, but if you don't want that a main gain is probably enough. So yeah, the third thing I would say is just go hard every set. I mean every set at the gym. Just go hard. Uh, don't do like the last two sets. If you do, um, let's say you hit chest and you do 10, 10 sets of chest. That is like my thing to do, like 10 sets. Um, then the last two sets i don't recommend you go easy in those like i know you're tired but you still want to squeeze out that last thing because you know you're gonna have gonna rest anyways for like two to three days after that chest day so you can just go as hard as you can like just do it it's no need to go easy like yeah but uh, i'm not saying you should do the heaviest weight when you're at the end of your workout you should go a little bit e like easy on the weight you should do more more reps and less weight because at the beginning you want to go for the strength and then at the end of the workout you do more hypertrophy so just get that pump you know squeeze squeeze as much as you can just go slow squeeze it you know when you're doing something chest like it's for all the muscle groups so yeah and uh, at the beginning go heavy as i said before just fucking pick a compound movement let's say you do back pick some rows or something that you can go very heavy on and if you do chest do some barbell bench and uh, if you do legs do some squats and if you're doing like arms, try to do some curl with a uh, barbell. Like just curl, curls, go heavy on those at the beginning. So yeah, that's all I gotta say, you know. Go hard every set. I mean every set. But then I'm not saying you should work out every week. I mean, you can do what works best for you. That's my recommendation. I'm not saying here what you should do and do that, but just take my advice and then you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> so I'm just saying what has worked for me. 
it doesn't mean it has to work for you so keep that in mind you know I uh, so like as I'm saying like I'm not saying you should work out every day of the week so right now I'm on a split where I do uh, I do chest and shoulders on one day and then the next day I do back and then I hit arms so biceps and triceps and then I hit legs and I'm gonna take rest day for like two days and I then I repeat it all over again so I'm hitting like uh, muscle group uh, once per week and I when I do this I feel like I've gained the most amount of muscle because when I did before push pull of legs I mean uh, <laughs> I did I didn't feel like I could uh, go as hard every time because let's say on a push day when you do doing chest first um, when you're doing chest first you go hard you can hit the chest very good and then shoulders yeah a little bit good too but then your triceps is just they don't get as much work as if you have would have done that like on a each separate day like when you do your arms or something so i feel like my when i did my push i felt like my triceps were lacking a, a lot and i didn't get as much rest as push pull and legs allowed so uh, i would i was like overtraining but i mean if you're eating very much you can do pull, push pull legs like when you're a bulk you're eating anyway so you will have the energy to do it it's not that but i feel like i gained the most amount of muscle and i can go hard every workout if i do the split i'm on right now so i'm doing like dorian yates and mike menzer those guys I'm not training like Arnold did. He just go went hard like so like, he just trained for two three hours a day. I'm not so there we go. Something happened with my storage. You know I had to clean something up. You know, but uh, as I said, uh, I'm not training like those guys. I'm training more like Dorian Yates and those those fellas. You know, uh, because um, yeah, just train as hard as you can for like one hour a day you don't have to train for two hours that is too long you ain't gonna gain muscle that way you just go with intensity so if you train two hours i promise you are not training hard enough i promise if you train for only one hour i promise you are every bit of minute in that hour i know you're doing very good work so if you're in the gym for two hours, I know you are just sitting there talking with people. You know, you gotta go only go one hour so you can get home, eat, get rest and all those stuff. So you can get back the next day and just do it all over again. So that's just my take on it all. Just t take, uh, take my advice with a pinch of salt. You know, I'm just your average gym bro. Uh... I researched a lot, but if there is something I've said that you very much disagree about, you can just type in the comments or anything and we can try to discuss it. And uh, yeah, I'm not saying everything I say is true, but it's just everything that I've learned. So yeah, throughout the year I've been lifting, I've been researching very much, like very much and uh, I done so, so much failures I've done so much wrongs that I've learned from and did it better so I hope you can take this video and learn so you don't do the same mistakes as I did and uh, yeah that's just all I have to say so I hope you like this I am filming in the mirror right now so I hope you like this I'm not having any fancy camera or anything like that I just want to be true with you guys so anyways um, hope you enjoyed and uh, I will see you next time. Hope you like the channel and everything. And everything like that. I try to upload more. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, bye.